Fine. Okay. Chief. We must get the right people to run our economy. Professor Pato Tony. Charles Soludo. Kali Dikekalo. So many of them. Even my good friend, Femi Falana. Why can't he be met attorney general and minister for justice? These are people that will look the president to his face and say, Mr. President, this is a bad policy. But if you insist that I should implement it, this is my resignation paper. None of the ministers currently serving now will have the courage. None of them can talk to Buhari. I'm telling you from experience. Then, if we don't get it right and take Nigerians for granted and go ahead selling these oil assets, my pattern word, market, every pharaoh has his own red sea. Thank you. <laughs> Joe. Well, I'm just looking at it from... Uh, uh, just, just one moment. Before right. you say, say, I just want to, or you to also factor in the fact that last week we heard the Minister of Finance say one thing and the uh, See, governor yeah. of the central bank say something else, which kind of gave um, the impression that even those working with the president were not on the same page. So people be became very suspicious, said, oh my God, what kind of journey are these people taking us on? Yes. Can we rely on them? Right. I wanted to take that into Th That's the inconsistency in policy statements. You know, when you make policy statements, you have to be uh, considering a lot of issues. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, that's why the fact that the, the CBN is autonomous. They're independent. They can make decisions. And what decision the CBN has made? He has made a decision with the NPC coming out to say, listen, we are not, uh, we are not going to decrease. We are not going to reduce the rate for so many reasons. Most of the things you see economically being discussed or being done, they're just theory. And these are theory that you see in economics for dummies. Is it so, but there should be communication. There is lack of communication somewhere. Mm. You don't ever hear that um, um, the, the Minister of Finance will come and say something categorically on CNBC, on you know, global TV, and then you'll find that the CBN. But th this is something that is good for this government as well. That shows that the people are taking decisions based on their own conviction. Good or bad, you can hold them responsible for it. But it is not enough to say, look, crash these uh, 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 rates and let's go on with it. So the CBN has done what it's supposed to do with his NPC guys, and they've done it. Be it, and then we have to live with it. So the same thing I've said, if the federal government said, we have endorsed selling of federal governments, what are the assets? Let's begin to, what are the assets they've not told us? Most of these speculations, because Dan Gordon said he should do something, okay, fine, that's his own opinion, that we are expressing our opinions here as well. So, but for me, I think we have to go on what I call T, technology, education, and agriculture. Our technology base is not sound. You see, now that even Yahoo said, look, you know, 500 million people were hacked. What are those things? We don't develop technology. If you want to sell the Federal Secretariat in Lagos, I beg you, don't sell that place. Make it a technology park for young men and women to go. Those are the places I don't want people to just to sell. If you, if that is, I mean, that place is rotting. For how many years do you have the Federal Secretary? Nobody. There's a conflict between the state. For goodness sake, government, don't sell that place. We have young men and women that can walk into that place. You can call it whatever. Let it be a technology park for our people to go into that place, to walk and design things. We don't have our own, you know, WhatsApp is something what everybody is using. We can produce WhatsApp, our own kind of WhatsApp. We can do a lot of things in this country. 30 seconds more. Yeah, 30 seconds. We have other people <laughs> in this country that are dying that we are not talking about. Pensioners who are not on PENCOM, they are dying. Any 5,000 a month. I have them in my families. You know, there's somebody who's earning 10,000, 5,000 for the past four years have not been paid. Why are you not paying them? The government has to look into that. We can't continue to blame the past government. Like Tosin said, let's begin to work. Let's begin to be creative. Disruptive economic creativity is what we should be thinking of. Social okay. engineering. Oh, okay. That's the area we should oh, okay, Tony. All right. Your last word. All right. Road to recovery. First, there has to be leadership. You ask yourself, where's the arrowhead? of this recovery, if you like, at the federal level. Where, where is the leadership? Who is the arrowhead? You need to do a lot of war gaming. I suppose the seminars and the, all that are taking place, but I can, as I keep saying, you need to have leadership. War game the situation. In Anambra, we numbered, crunched the numbers, and came out with 16 initiatives inch by inch, in four broad categories. Tax relief to the vulnerable, social intervention for households, social intervention for businesses, and intervention on infrastructure. We are building a facility worth 20 million naira 
for every community in Anambra State. We have 179 communities. And we say, choose whatever project you want. Some have chosen markets, some have asked for classrooms, some have chosen maternities or health centers, some have chosen abattoirs. I would say, what 20 million? We will cite it in the community. You will provide the contractors. You will own it. And this is 3.6 billion naira infusion into the Anambra economy. And we, the governor insists he wants to commission this by the end of December 2016. So we're saying, in all, the package, the leadership, the package is clear-headed. It's about 20 billion naira in cash and non-cash. The land to provide the employment for every disabled graduate of an origin. So there has to be leadership. Where's the arrowhead? And then the program has to be clear, straightforward. We know where we stop. We know where we have to begin. Thank you. And we know where we're going. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, we have been chatting with uh, Tosin Olasende, an economist, um, Chief Lucky Chuku, a public affairs analyst, Mr. Joe Femidagnduru, an economist, as well as Mr. Tony Nachata, a veteran banker. And we have been looking... He's also a commissioner in the Anambra State. Yes. Yes, I'm commissioner. Yes, in commission. <laughs> And certainly, <laughs> Anambra State. Yes. That's how come I know about Anambra State. <laughs> and you have sold Anambra State. And that's why I'm A veteran the banker <laughs> as well as the commissioner for information over in Anambra yes, State. Yes. And that's why we're saying that we have a template that some states can look into those templates. Okay. It may not be perfect, it may inspire some states, but okay. we think that this whole conversation should be at the subnational level, not Abuja. Homegrown. Indeed. Thank you. And because all states have to begin to look inwards, because very soon there'll be very little money to share in Abuja, they better start looking sharp. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sunrise will return in just a moment.